You're gonna make me wait. Get it out.
adds to water. I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay Debts of gratitude. Humans, elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your feelings? Thanks for your help, really. But you could have chosen more conventional means, given me the key to myself, for instance. Oh, my. Far too simple. I dislike simple solutions. Do you like them? Doubt we're here to talk about my preferences. True. I'd much rather tell you about an individual of interest to us both. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. How do you know we'd met, and that I'm not exactly thrilled with him now? Please, Geralt. I knew the Ophiri had captured you. Was I not to know how this had come to pass? Olgierd von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. And now the time's come to pay. Yet, he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake. I've many interesting wares on offer. Wares like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all, I offer a great, true adventure. An experience like no other. The fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Mm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm-hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, 
We three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Orgir had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us. Yet, we won't know what they are until we see him. Fine. I'll go see Olgeard with you, but no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. Don't you worry, Bertram. We shan't give you up. We ain't here to risk your own lives. Hey there, sir! Be a so witcher, right? Onions Wait! Gone daft! Mixing a witcher <gasps> into this! Long Which as the black ones folk. are chasing Defender. gorillas round the Kedwini woods, Nova Grads. Ah, oh. Last Real chance fire? to surrender all no. orthodox books. What do you want? Grimoires and trucks <laughs> blaspheming <laughs> the sun. Blame is Greetings. Show me your wares. So long. He's a foul bastard. Why, why, why? Why, why? Why, why? Why, why? Why, why? Why, why? Why, Willing to craft something for me? So long. Last yeah. oh. How can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better wreath you'll not find anywhere in the city. Clumsy, clumsy. Wine, wine, I want wine, damn it. Black pudding, cue was any hat over. Well, look who's here. The Witcher with the fists of steel. What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You catch some kind of a fiery pox? Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? That? All right. You know how it is. Feast drags on with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got a bit carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's all geared? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ain't with yous! Drank with yous! Fought beside yous! Did you kill me now? I'm one of yous! You might have been, but not no more you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Tell you what's gonna happen now. I'll ask again, polite-like, and you'll answer just as politely. And if I don't? Then I'll get angry, stop talking, and slaughter you all like swine. So what'll it be? Am I gonna hear why you wanna take his head? Or not. Aren't you a thorny prick up the ass? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer. Happy? Now piss off. We've work to do. No, you don't. Let him go. Oh, this is bloody rich. Can't plow and believe me ears. You switch your brains with your cock or something. Get your mutant with your ass out of here. Or 
or I'll kill you! Go ahead. Try. Whoa, whoa, what the bloody hell is this? Geralt, have you decided to play Defender of the Downtrop? More like Gutter of Sons of Bitches. Long as I'm here, you'll gut no one. That a challenge? Why not? I've not fought a Witcher before. Defeat me, and I shall let him go. Stand aside. Would you wait, sir, for the dribble to subside? Makes no difference to me. Well struck, Witcher. You win. But perhaps you'd care to tell me why you meddled in a matter not yours. I wanted to prevent for the bloodshed. Well, well. The Witcher with the heart of gold. Unsavory as it seems, there is a silver line. At least you now know I don't easily lose my head. Release him. Get off cheap meat. Really necessary, that whole show? Ugh. Show, come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. Dare say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. You know what this is? I cannot be certain. But I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest your wish be granted. For there are consequences. Not sure I follow. You know very little can hurt you. So you take wild risks, chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all, and all seems boring and monotonous. The trick's to plow through that moment, go further, reach beyond what's known as possible. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. Give it a left of chart, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open, and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gaunter or dim. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know, you first must... Grant you three requests, by proxy. I present to you my champion. Geralt of Rivia. That true? 
You know the Toad was a cursed prince? He didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. All Geard once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. All Geard grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him. Then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life in a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, Odin. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. Come. Where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bosodi. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses? You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch! Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old, but his mount always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him and show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine, seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then we shall speak of the third. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine, see you there. The brother shouldn't be too hard, but the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. Borsodi's house. No idea how I'm supposed to bring him that. Hmm. The only Borsodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenford. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Olgierd's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Uh, never agreed to necromancy. The necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Sides, I'd need the blood of the summoned. Blood? True. Of the summoned? Not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt, 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 aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von Everett blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The Von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. 
The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay. Can't wait. Say I need help. Where'll I find you? I shall find you. Good luck, Geralt. I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A pox and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad shaped medal? The army's not got any medal like that. Geralt? Are you all right? What's that on your face? Long story. <clears throat> We're conducting important business. News can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. Interesting. Curious to know, what do scholars look like to your mind? Uh, well, all that reading's hard on the eyes, right? So they wear spectacles. Oh, aye. Thick ones, propped on wrinkled noses, and their clothing frumpy at best. Who've they got to dress up for? The books? Fascinating, really. But if I were you, I'd make sure no medic ever overhears you. Huh? Why's that? Because when you get caught in a battle, she might just refuse to stitch you back up. You're a lucky bastard, witch, yeah. We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it too, eh? There's no denying her beauty. But she's not my type. <laughs> Talking out your ass, mate. Passing on quite the catch. She looked at me like she does you. I'd not dally long thinking. Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you, in Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilfgaardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Edernian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Shani, I need your help this time. Mm, I'd guess this wasn't the social call. All right, tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Hmm, where do I start? All right, monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad, and this toad was actually a prince, and Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri duchess. It's the truth. Uncolored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a maid showed up, captured me. A man named Gontaro Dim freed me. 
Who's this? Hmm. Could be a mage, a demon, or a djinn. You don't know? He's very powerful. That's all I need to know. He helped me out of a bind. And now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorcerers or necromancy involved. Gave me this. Concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a sensor, too. Well, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Neither do I, but I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Hmm. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs or Famous Redanian Dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estekin, Von Everek. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance. Run, Roach.
Move it. side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. That's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. A wedding? Whose? Dear friends, from the Academy. Speaking of which, would you go with me? Of two, I would. But this all geared and master mirror business. Uh, enough said. Won't try to talk you into it. Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, Aniseed and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Let's go. The tone is spot on. This is impressive. Yeah. Too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. Oh. <laughs> That looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. If there's any trouble, just yell. This is no crypt. It's a full-blown mausoleum. Surprises? Sure hope so. Should look around. Hmm. Probably shouldn't touch that. Vladimir von Ederek, son of Bohumil and Christina. There you are. Now for the ritual. Gotta spread the incense throughout the crypt. Every room. 